We're now at the stage where we can step through from a word equation to making our molecular formulas and then balancing the equation. So, first of all, we need to write down our correct molecular formulas. And we do that with our crossing over method. So we've got magnesium oxide. Write down the ions with their charge. And so you use your periodic table um, to, to work that out. And to remember, remember, so magnesium's in group two, so it's two plus ion. And oxide, okay, is in group six. So it's a two minus ion. And we just do our crossing over. But these are going to cancel each other out, aren't they? So we've just simply got MgO. So that one is straightforward. Next, we've got sodium chloride. Sodium is in group one, so it's got a charge of one plus, or just plus, and chlorine, okay, as in group seven, and has got a charge of one minus, or just uh, minus. Okay, so we can go ahead and put that one down because that, once we cross it over, it just cancels out and we've just got NaCl. So that's all pretty straightforward so far. Okay, but now we've got magnesium chloride. Okay, so magnesium chloride. Now we said magnesium was plus or two plus and chlorine was one minus. Crossed over. So that two goes down here and that one down here. So we have got MgCl2, okay? And now we've got sodium oxide. Put in our charges, sodium is one plus, oxide is two minus. Do our crossover, okay? And we end up with two sodiums and one oxygen. Do our crossover and we end with two sodiums and one oxygen. Okay, so we have now got our molecular formulas correct. So now we need to go ahead and make sure we've got the same number of atoms on each side. Magnesium, one. Magnesium, one. We're happy with that. Oxygen, one. Oxygen, one. So far, so good. Sodium, one. Sodium, two. There's only one thing we can do, and that is put a two here. Now we've got two sodiums, two sodiums. Two chlorines two chlorines. So we're happy. That's perfectly balanced. So it's just a matter of systematically going through the process. To be successful, you need to make sure you get your molecular formulas correct. If you don't get them correct, there's no way it will balance.